Hey guys, it's Lauren. I'm coming to you with a quick update. After my last video, I did a review of this Aesthetica Avalon in R30 slash 28 slash 26. Now I know what you're thinking. Surely that cannot be the same wig. It is, and don't call me Shirley. So how, might you ask, did I go from this to this? Well, it's story time. If you watch my review, you know that I was kind of on the fence about keeping this girl. So I decided to give her a bamboo silicone treatment because even though it was new, um, or supposedly new, I bought it secondhand, but the ends were a little kind of dry already. So I thought if she had a spa day, you know, that might give her some new life and I might feel a little differently about her. Now what I use is, um, the silicone mixed bamboo treatment. Just got this from Amazon. It's really not that expensive. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below. And this is great for all types of synthetics. And I think it also works well on natural hair um, or human hair rather. And all I do for my synthetics is just slather it on when the hair is dry, focusing on the ends. You wanna keep it away from any hand tied portions. Put it in a Ziploc bag wrap it up in a towel, leave it overnight, rinse it in the morning, and you're good to go. And that works great if you have a synthetic that is getting really kind of crispy, crunchy, clumpy, especially heat-friendly fibers. Uh, this works really well to restore the softness and movement to those. So I had the brilliant idea because, you know, with natural human hair, heat will help conditioning treatments penetrate the hair fiber. And I thought, well, maybe this also works with synthetics. So when I was doing the treatment, I put it in the Ziploc bag, wrapped it in a towel, and then wrapped that in a heating pad. Now my heating pad has an automatic two hour shut off. So I had it on medium, maybe it was high. I honestly wasn't paying attention because I didn't think that I was doing anything groundbreaking. <laughs> so it was in there, you know, being heated, for two hours, at which point it would have automatically shut off and some of the residual heat would have still stayed in there for a little while. But when I pulled it out in the morning to rinse it off, I noticed that the curls have relaxed a little bit. And it was a bit wonky because I hadn't like put it in the bag with any sort of intention with the way it was laying because again, I didn't think anything would happen but it had not happened uniformly. So I decided to more intentionally roll it up, you know, uncovered by itself in my heating pad again uh, for an hour or two. When I pulled it out that second time, this is exactly what it looked like. I'll give you a 360 real quick. Now, in my opinion, she's perfect for me. I am somebody who really loves that beach wave texture when it looks literally like you came out of the ocean, you just kind of scrunched your hair a bit. It's a little messy and undone and just very natural looking. And because it didn't, you know, perfectly and evenly relax the curls, you know, I even have some pieces in up, up front here that are like a little too straight for my liking. Um, but you know, you just kind of like rough it up and you end up with it looking super natural. It's just sort of a general method. And I would say, obviously everybody's going to have a different preference on or, or need for how relaxed they want the end result to be. So I would say to just err on the side of a little bit of a lower temperature and just check on it every like half hour or so till you reach the, the you know, desired style. Um, if you do it that way, you're gonna be fine. And honestly, worst case scenario, you end up with it too straight or too wonky and you don't like it and you have to fully straighten it or just redo the curls. I know that styling synthetics can be a pain, but it is doable. And that also is one of the things that we love about synthetics, right? Is you can wash it and it dries exactly the way it was uh, without any effort on your part. 
So the good thing is now that I have done this and I like the way it looks, the next time I wash it, it'll go right back to this. So if you do alter it, washing it will not return it to its previous style. So I hope that that was helpful. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if it was. If you do try it, I would love to hear from you in the comments how it worked out. If you have any questions, you know, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.